In this video, we are going to solve the question x, y and z are complex numbers such that x plus y plus z equals to 2, x square plus y square plus z equals to 3 and x, y, z is equals to 4. Then find the value of 1 divided by x, y plus z minus 1 plus 1 divided by y, z plus x minus 1 plus 1 divided by zx plus y minus 1. We have z minus 1, x minus 1 and y minus 1 here and these values we can find these values from x plus y plus z equals to 2. So we have x plus y plus z equals to 2. Subtracting 1 from both sides gives us x plus y plus z minus 1 equals to 2 minus 1 is 1. Now subtracting x plus y from both sides gives us here plus xy plus x plus y and minus x plus y will cancel out to give z minus 1 is equals to 1 minus x plus y or 1 minus x minus y. Hence z minus 1 is equals to 1 minus x minus y. Similarly we can find y minus 1 and x minus 1. y minus 1 will be equal to 1 minus z minus x and x minus 1 will be equal to 1 minus y minus z. Now we will put these values into this equation to find its value. This gives us 1 divided by xy plus z minus 1 is 1 minus x minus y plus 1 divided by yz plus x minus 1 is 1 minus y minus z plus 1 divided by zx plus y minus 1 is 1 minus z minus x this gives us 1 divided by we can write this as xy minus x minus of y minus 1 plus 1 divided by yz minus y minus of z minus 1 plus 1 divided by zx minus z minus of x minus 1 this gives us 1 divided by we have x common here taking x common gives us x multiplied by y minus 1 minus y minus 1 plus 1 divided by here we have y common and stacking y common gives us y multiplied by z minus 1 minus z minus 1 plus 1 divided by here we have 
z common taking z common gives us z multiplied by x minus 1 minus x minus 1 now we have y minus 1 common and here z minus 1 common and here x minus 1 common so this gives us y minus 1 taking y minus 1 common gives us y minus 1 multiplied by we have x remaining here and 1 remaining here so y minus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 plus 1 divided by here we will take z minus 1 common z minus 1 multiplied by here we have y and here we have 1 y minus 1 plus 1 divided by here we have x minus 1 common x minus 1 multiplied by here we have z and minus 1 remaining z minus 1 the common factor in all these three denominators are x minus 1 multiplied by y minus 1 multiplied by z minus 1 here we have we already have x minus 1 multiplied by y minus 1 hence we have to put z minus 1 here z minus 1 plus here we already have y minus 1 and z minus 1 hence here we have to put x minus 1 plus here we already have x minus 1 and z minus 1 hence we have to put y minus 1 here now this gives us x plus y plus z x plus y plus z minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 divided by x minus 1 multiplied by now we will multiply these two terms y minus 1 multiplied by z minus 1 so multiplying y by z gives us yz then y multiplied by minus 1 gives us minus y then minus 1 multiplied by z gives us minus z then minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 gives us plus 1 this gives us x plus y plus z minus 3 divided by x minus 1 multiplied by yz minus y minus z plus 1 we are given x plus y plus z is equals to 2 so this gives us 2 minus 3 divided by now we will multiply x by yz minus y minus z and 1 by yz minus y minus z plus 1 hence this gives us x multiplied by yz minus y minus z plus 1 minus 1 multiplied by yz minus y minus z plus 1 this gives us 2 minus 3 is minus 1 divided by x multiplied by yz is xyz minus x multiplied by y is xy minus x multiplied by z is xz and plus x multiplied by 1 is x now minus 1 multiplied by yz is minus yz and minus 1 multiplied by minus y is plus y then minus 1 multiplied by minus z is plus z and minus 1 multiplied by plus 1 is minus 1 this gives us minus 1 divided by 
x y z we have minus x y minus y z and minus minus x y minus z x and minus y z minus x y minus y z minus z x then we have x plus y plus z plus x plus y plus z then we have minus 1 minus 1 this gives us minus 1 divided by x y z taking minus 1 common here minus of x y plus y z plus z x plus x plus y plus z minus 1 this gives us minus 1 divided by x y z is 4 minus x y plus y z plus z x plus x plus y plus z is 2 minus 1 this gives us minus 1 divided by 4 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so 4 plus 1 is 5 5 minus x y plus y z plus z x we can find the value of x y plus y z plus z x from the formula x plus y plus z whole square is equals to x square plus y square plus z square plus 2 multiplied by x y plus y z plus z x this gives us x plus y plus z is 2 2 square is equals to x square plus y square plus z square is 3 plus 2 multiplied by this gives us 2 multiplied by x y plus y z plus z x is equals to 2 square is 4 minus 3 which is equals to 1 now dividing both sides by 2 gives us this 2 will cancel out to give x y plus y z plus z x is equals to 1 by 2 now we will put this value into this equation which is minus 1 minus 1 divided by 5 minus x y plus y z plus z x so this is equals to minus 1 divided by 5 minus this value is 1 by 2 1 by 2 this gives us minus 1 divided by 5 minus 1 by 2 is 9 by 2 which is equals to minus of 2 divided by 9 so this is our answer